Okay, YouTube, I'm going to be telling you about how to use Snow Breeze 2.9.4. It's been updated with iOS 5.1.1 until the jailbreak. The following devices it supports are iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPhone 4 CDMA, iPad 1, iPod 3G, iPod 4G, Apple TV 2. If you do not have any of the, de the recently listed devices, just go ahead and close out of this video now, but thank you for looking. Now, basically Snow Breeze is a follow-up to Absinthe and Red Snow's twin. It just has been released before Red Snow's Untethered Jailbreak, which is either coming soon or is being released today. I don't remember for sure. Check that out later. Now, I'll have links for the firmware, site, and Snow Breeze in the description. So go ahead and start downloading the firmware and Snow Breeze and watch this video, then come back to it if you need more help. Or you can download the firmware directly from the application of Snowbreeze if you prefer. So, this is how it's going to work. After you download Snowbreeze, you're going to extract it to your desktop like any normal person would. Now, here is what you need. Sorry, I can't really see that. Well, you're going to need Snowbreeze, and it's going to say iPhone 3, but that's just how it comes up. Whenever you download it, it just says iPhone 3, but just click on iPhone 4. 5.1.1 and it lists on your computer desktop as 5. Point, or I mean as iPhone 3. You're going to open Snowbreeze. I'm not going to read jailbreak my iPhone just going ahead and let you all know that. I'm just going to show you what where you all need to go to get the quickest update of jailbreak. If I do jailbreak my iPhone right now, which is already jailbroken with AdSense, which I which I do recommend, just going ahead and let you know. Download link will be in description because you don't even need the iPhone firmware. It's going to come up with the software, you know, policy. You're going to just hit OK. And it says for iOS 3.1.3, 3.2, 4.0, 4.1, 4.2.1, 4.2.8, 4.3, 4.3.3, 4.4.3, 4.4.4, 5.0.1, .4, .4, .4, .4, .4, .4, .4, and 5.1.1. Now, you're going to click the arrow. Now, you can either browse for it if you have it saved on your computer like I do, or you can download the iOS firmware, like I already said. So if you are, let's just say you already have it. If you don't, pause the video and get it. You're going to click on it. Now, it's going to bring up what kind you already have. Now, I'm not going to actually jailbreak mine. You're going to hit next. Now, I face mode, either you can create a custom firmware or save your SHSH blobs. And I do believe that there is a boot out of recovery mode, but I also have a video how to do that if you ever get stuck in that. So I'd recommend just going to that. Simple mode recommended for people that don't know what to add. Simple mode, add Cydia, AFC2, SA, or SSH for Apple TV, and other recommended stuff automatically. Expert mode, as I would use, gives you boot logos, root permission size, installer options, and unlocks. Meaning if your phone is locked by a carrier code or anything, you can just unlock it simply by going here. But if it's already unlocked, it will register that. And if it already has a custom boot logo on it from a previous jailbreak, you do have that. Now, I'm going to go back because I'm going to show you the simple way to do it. Now, I will have an update video later on in the future. No time you know, within this next week because I'm going to need another iPod to do it or iPhone. I'll have an ex expert video listed. So we're going to go to simple mode. Well, my iPhone is already activated, so no. Now, while it's extracting the IPSU like it's doing right now for me, you can either play no, no thanks, I'll stick to the spinner, or you can play some Pac-Man. Um, I'm not going to play because I don't have my keyboard available because I'm showing you all this, but I'm just showing you what you can do. Now, I'm going to cancel this, but is what will happen is this whole process will go on. And since it's already uh, jailbroken, it's not going to complete, so I'm not going to let it complete. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the video short and show you that just let the information bar fill all the way up until it says it is safe to remove your device. Do not touch, play with, press any buttons on your device while this is going on. Now, if you have any more questions, Put them in the comments or inbox me. I'll get back to you with a response. And if it requires another video, I'll hit you up. Later.